Hi everybody, welcome back to Mouse Ears and Wishes. I'm Jen. And I'm Stefan. And today we are bringing you to... Epcot! Epcot! We have made it over here. We have Paris behind us. Or France Pavilion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ding! We gotta do a ding! Ding! Yeah. Um, so um, welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome. Yeah. This is um, part two of our uh, travels. Yeah. Uh, part two of three. So um, we're happy to have you join us yet again. Yes. Um, a lot of intros we've been doing in the past two days. <laughs> um, so today, our main focus is uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. That's the big one. So yeah. we purchased um, a individual lightning lane or whatever um, for it. So that's coming up soon. It's going to be our very first experience with that. Um, we have some food and wine left to try. Yeah, we brought our passports. Um, yes. And I don't know if there's any like holiday stuff going on, but we're gonna check it out. Yeah, we'll do our best to find some new things. Since food and wine is still going on, I don't yeah. think. Like, but I just looked over and I saw some decorations. So Jay can. Ah. Make okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll bring you some decorations and food, so that's good stuff. Yeah. Um. That's all I have. Yeah. That's all I got. I mean, it's only it's only a half a day, or like a half of the second half of the day, really. An afternoon. afternoon. So we're gonna pack in as much as we can. We have that, and we have our first um, the genie plus that we got for Soren. What did we do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or you know, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing Soren first, and we are uh, gonna make our way over there shortly. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll see you there. So come on, let's go. Soren. Yeah, fun as always. Excellent. Except our oh, scents yeah. didn't work. No sense. No sense. So no dirt. No, no dirt. Uh, no Fiji. Fiji. Sad. I think we we both kind of said to each other, "Oh, do we smell it?" But then Jen yeah. was like, "Oh, I think we're just making it up yeah. in our head. <laughs> we know what it should smell like." Right. Yeah. Um. So I was able to secure another Lightning Lane pass for Living Up the Land. So we're gonna go do that real quick, yeah, and then it's, it's right Remy now. time. Woo woo! All right, see you over there. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Systems as the rainforest, home oh. to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its land and animal species, 
rainforests are also extremely rich in protective living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world.
While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. All right, we uh, just finished living with the land, mm -hmm. um, as you might see some of that footage so uh, it was great there were a couple decorations here and there throughout not a lot but like some some different things some new like little picnic spots that I don't recall seeing before but uh, right now we are finally headed over to Remy's yep and uh, I'm excited. we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes I'm nervous I'm yeah excited. We'll try same to, we'll try to uh, show you as much as we can yeah all right catch you over okay, there let's go let's do it so we are about to go ride Remy. If you don't want to see it, you don't want spoilers, then go to this timestamp. Um, and uh, we'll see you after. Mm -hmm. Venez, venez, suivez-moi, je vous prie. <laughs> the chef Remy is waiting for you. Oh. This way.
taking them off for a second. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, the food is for them, not you. better than I think people hyped it up to be. I feel like there wasn't too much hype about it being like, oh, it's amazing or whatever, but I thought it was really good. Honestly. Yeah. I think it's really cute. Yeah. Um, I understand what everyone was saying about like there being too many screens and stuff, but like, I feel like it was different than um, than just like a regular motion simulator. You yeah. Know? Like you went through several different scenes, there were effects, then there were like practical scenes as well. Um, so it's definitely different. Um, it's really, really cute. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like we both felt like a little sick on it though. To yeah, be there are certain parts, but. But um, you always have to find that like little character who yeah, exactly. is like the leader. Mm -hmm. um, I do this on Flight of Passage too, and I'm like, yeah, afraid. I was gonna say that. You yep. follow the tour guide, right? So in a lot of the scenes, it's Remy, and if you keep your eye on Remy, usually you're usually okay. Yeah, you're alright. Um, I stared at the floor for a little bit at one point, and then I was like, oh, I should really be looking at what's going on. <laughs> no. Yeah, but I mean, I still feel like it's fairly new technology. I mean, some of the uh, the screen stuff is very similar to that scene out of uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, just like the the scene when you're going over the waterfall oh, yeah. it's sort of like yeah you're built like, like individualized that. right yeah you yeah. have your own spot and it's so. like you're with a small group um and i also like how in the actual ride vehicle 
it's tiered, so like the back row can right. see as well. We were in the front, but like I turned around, and I was like, oh my god, they're sitting up high. Yeah, which was great because yeah. they didn't feel like we were blocking them. Yeah. You know, when I sit, I sit tall a little bit sometimes, yeah. so it was good. Um, uh, anything else? Yeah, I mean, overall, we haven't really been in the area either, so like the theming, even leading through the ride and everything, I got some shots because we we had the lightning lane. So we so, missed like most of the queue. Right, which I was the queue. Sad theme. about. I like kind of yeah. realized that was going to be. The it's kind of like Peter Pan when you get used to get fast passes or whatever, and you'd go through, and that was like nothing, and the rest of the theming is in like walking through the room and everything, and yeah. But yeah, so I got some shots of that, and it was. We're, it was we'll try nice. to get like a boarding group next time. Yeah. Um, yeah. That way we can do the actual queue. Yeah. But so um, overall, overall, it's a great we ride, yeah. and we definitely recommend it. Yeah. I'm someone, you know, who who's, gets motion sick very easily, and that didn't put me over the edge. I was very nervous, yeah. but it really didn't. It was great, honestly. Okay. All right. We're not really sure what we're doing next. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't believe we accomplished, like, all of this. We did it all. And we still have, like, a ton of time left before yeah, it's only we five o'clock. Magic Kingdom. <laughs> so uh, we're probably going to maybe pick up some food or... Get some coffee or something. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see, uh, see you in a bit. Yeah. All right, let's dive in with some food and wine treats. You folks know that um, I can't come to a food and wine festival and not get the impossible sliders. So that's what we're starting with this evening. So in case you don't remember, this is from Earth Eats. Um, and it is the impossible burger slider with wasabi cream and spicy slaw on a sesame seed bun. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so we just stopped by Mac and Eats, finally, and we are getting our mac and cheese on, folks. So right here we have the truffle macaroni and cheese with herbed panko, and then we got the cowboy macaroni and cheese with the smoked pork belly, brisket burnt ends, pickled peppers, and onion straws. And then finally we got the macaroni and cheese with the house-made Italian sausage and peppers. So we got all three options, and that final one is plant-based. Refreshment port <clears throat> near Canada. We got the maple forsen cheesecake with whipped forsen maple bourbon cheese and candied pecans or pecans, whatever you like. Yeah. <gasps> ducks. Sorry guys, but ducks. Hi ducks. Hi ducks. Hello duck friends. Hello duck friends. They're waiting for our pecans, pecans. Don't ever think it's pecans because it's pecans.
look at that. It's like stunning. I I'm oh. still like wiping the tears off my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very emotional day today. Yeah. But we got to ride Remy. We got to eat some delicious treats. Um, what else? We saw yeah. this. We saw Christmas. Christmas. I mean, yeah. it did, it could it's, it oh, just can't be. It better. doesn't get better at afternoon at Epcot. Yeah. Except maybe an evening. Yeah. <laughs> or a morning. All or of it. All day. <laughs> and I'm done. Yeah. But anyway, on that note, <laughs> um, thank you so much for following us along today. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Yeah. And uh, please do go ahead and leave a comment uh, on our videos. We love reading them. We love replying to them. If you've um, seen this, um, let us know what you thought. I yeah. mean, I'm emotional. Very so, emotional. I we only hear saw one, <laughs> one or two of the, the shows that I think they have a bunch of different yeah, quick shows. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's excellent. Um, well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and keep, keep on, on wishing. wishing.